in this one you are translating the phrase into an expression. You do not need to find the actual answer, just write the expression. So first I'm going to start with number five, double four, so that would mean multiply it by two, and add six. You're not doubling four and six, so you want to make sure you do the two times four piece first, and then the six. Six, half of seven, so half of seven, decreased by, that would mean subtracting four from your answer. So half of seven minus four. Here we have the daily high temperature for War Road International Memorial Airport in Minnesota. This is a problem that we have seen before. And originally we were asked to find the average temperature for these few days. Here I have three different people's version where they attempt to find the average. So you can see Dylan grouped all of the temperatures together and then divided by seven. Noor divided all of them by seven and then added them together. And Maya, she did not group the numbers together. So by order of operations, this is only going to divide the last one by seven and the rest of them will not be divided by seven. So in this specific problem, Dylan and Noor both have correct methods for finding the mean or the average temperature. By including these parentheses, Dylan is dividing all of those values by seven. However, Maya, like we mentioned, is only dividing the last one. The table shows the temperature changes one morning in War Road, Minnesota over a five hour period. So each of these values in the table represents one hour. The temperature was negative 13 degrees at 2 a.m. What was the temperature at 7 a.m.? Write a numerical expression and then evaluate it to find the answer. So we have negative 13 then it changed by going down six degrees, down three degrees, down two, changing by zero, and then increasing by four. So we can evaluate it by combining the negative values together. So I have negative 13 and negative six would make negative 19. These would be negative five. Zero plus four is four. Well, negative 19 and negative five together make negative 24. And negative 24 plus four would put us at negative 20. You can see here the drop of six degrees, the drop of three, the drop of two, and then the increase of four, landing us at negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. For problems two through seven, write a numerical expression to represent the statement, then evaluate the expression. Number two, three tenths less than one fourth. The way that this is phrased puts the three tenths after the one fourth. It is three tenths less than the one-fourth. Now, in order to evaluate, these need to have common denominators. A common denominator for four and 10 is 20. Four times five is 20, and 10 times two is 20. So this would be five twentieths minus six twentieths which would be negative one over 20. Number three says the difference of three tenths and one fourth. When it's phrased that way, the difference we subtract in the order that it tells us. So again, we need to convert these to have common denominators. 10 times two gives us 20. Four times five gives us 20.
and our answer this time is positive 1 20th. If you converted these to decimals, 3 tenths would be 0 0.3 and 1 fourth would be 0 0.25. So you could get an answer of 0 0.05 if you had it in decimal form. The product of 6 and the sum of 3 eighths and negative 1 half. So when it says the sum, that word is a grouping word. So we have 3 eighths and sum is a plus negative 1 half. So we're going to group those together and then multiply by 6. It's the product of the sum. So we have to find the sum first and then multiply by 6. Now we can convert these to have an 8 in the denominator by multiplying by 4. This would turn our problem into 6 multiplied by or multiplied to the product or the sum, sorry, of negative 4 and 8 and 3 eighths. So then we have 3 eighths minus 4 eighths or 3 eighths plus negative 4 eighths would be negative 1 eighth and that is multiplied by 6. So 6 times negative 1 would be negative 6. There's an invisible one down here. 1 times 8 is 8. You can leave this as negative 6 eighths or you can reduce it to negative 3 fourths. If you did this as a decimal it would be negative 0 0.75. For number five, the sum of six and the product of three eighths and negative one half. So this is saying the sum of six and some meaning add the product. Product is an, also a grouping word, three eighths and negative one half. So we're going to multiply three eighths by negative one half. When we're multiplying, we do not have to have common denominators. This would be 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 8 times 2 is 16. And we are adding 6 to that. Now this is 6 over 1. So these do not have common denominators as it is. But we can multiply by 16 to give them common denominators. 6 times 6 is 36, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 more makes 9. So this is 96 over 16 plus negative 3 sixteenths. 96 plus negative 3 would be 93. So our final answer here would be 93 sixteenths. Two less than the product of negative 6 and 5 eighths. So this product is going to group negative 6 and 5 eighths together. Product is a multiplication. And then we need 2 less than that. So group those together and then 2 less than that. Remember there's an invisible one here. So this is 6 times 5 or negative 6 times 5 which is negative 30. 1 times 8 is 8, and we are minusing 2, or subtracting 2. Now, we can change this to an 8 by multiplying by 8 on the top and on the bottom. That would give us 16 eighths. So negative 30 and taking away 16 or going backwards 16 would put us at negative 46 over 8. Number 7, the quotient of 10 less than negative 4 and negative 1 half. The quotient of 10 less than negative 4. and negative one-half. The quotient means divide of this and that. Well, negative four 
and then 10 less would put us at negative 14 divided by negative 1 half. We can use the leave change change or leave change flip strategy here. Negative 14 times negative 2 is positive 28 over 1. There's an invisible 1 there as well, which is positive 28. In the video, we see Abdul and three friends that went to the movies, and they each bought a ticket for $9.50 and the popcorn and drink combo, which was priced at $6.25. Each person had a coupon for a third off their total cost. Write and evaluate a numerical expression to represent the total cost in dollars for Abdul and his friends to go to the movies. So we saw that they all had to pay the $6.25 for the drink and the popcorn and the $9.50 for their ticket. But four of them went to the movies. They also get to take a third off of that price. So they get to remove one third of that amount. So I have the total, and then I get to remove a third of the total. You might also see that people will write it as, well, if I have the whole and I take off one third, that would leave me with two thirds of the total. Oops, 625, not 650. All right, so if I add 625 and 950 together, that would give me $15.75. Now I have two thirds times four times $15.75. All right, so four times 15.75. Let's do that over here on the side. Five times four is 20. Four times seven is 28, plus two more makes 30. Four times five is 20, plus three is 23. Four times one is four, plus two more makes six. There are two decimal spots in the question, so we need two in the answer. Now I have two thirds of 63. Oh, there's an invisible one there. 63 times 2 would be 126. 3 times 1 is 3. We want this in dollars, so we are going to figure out what that is equal to. We've got 126 divided by 3. 3 fits into 12 4 times. 
and three fits into six two times. So for the three of his friends and himself to go to the movies, they spent $42. So you can see here's their total and they showed up four times for Abdul and his three friends, but they only had to pay two thirds because they got to remove the one third using their coupon. Make sure your warm-up is finished and your workbook is filled in for lesson 25.